ask me what I learned in the four years since I've been waiting tables here? I'd say it's a gamble. You have to get lucky. Pick the right tables. Get the right diners. The ones low on trouble, but big on tipping. That's the deal with Vegas. You never know who's done well in the casino until it's too late, and you've got some penniless skunk cards and problems. I'd like to think all those gambles are behind me now, thanks to this old lady. Truth be, when I first saw her yesterday, I reckoned she'd be low maintenance. Woman looked late 50s, maybe early 60s, long gray hair, and dressed like she just walked out of a dusty library. So what? Scary yet harmless, right? How you doing, ma'am? I smiled as I approached her. Hope you're having a fine time with us here. What can I get you? At this, the old timer looks up as if surprised. Oh, yes! She blurted out. Drinks, yes, of course. I'm good with the accents, so I could tell right away she was from England, which means a tip, but never a generous one. I'd be very grateful. And she paused, her eyes peering to read my name badge. Trudy, that's a nice name. Well, I would love it if you would bring me one of the high roller martinis, please. Wow, I didn't expect that she'd go for such an expensive cocktail, and I didn't really hide the astonishment from my face. The old lady spotted my reaction. Oh, I know, I just thought, why not? Sure thing, ma'am. I fixed my face back into my work smile. Been lucky at the tables today? Oh, no. Not yet. I've just arrived. The old lady chuckled. But I have a system. Oh, honey, I thought. Poor woman. Just like all the other suckers. I seen them all come in here on the first day, convinced that they got a system. Leave here? Hungover and poor. Ain't nobody ever going to beat the casino with a system. But I sure know how to do my job. I grinned a huge grin and wished her the best with it. And after she finished a cocktail, I found a generous tip on the table. Jackpot! Sure, I didn't think I'd see her again. Which made earlier this evening all the more remarkable. I was having a shit filled time of it, struggling with a business party of loud drunks with wandering hands when I was summoned to the VIP Grand Billionaire's room. When I got there, I discovered that the whole place had been hired by the same old lady. And there she was, looking almost exactly as she had the day before. She was reclining in luxury with two handsome looking young men in tuxedos next to her, indulging her in a handful of canasta. She saw me, beckoned me over, shooing her playmates away temporarily. Ma'am, I'm so happy for you, I began, and it really was genuine. I told you I had a system and you didn't believe me. She pointed an accusatory finger at me using the same hand in which she was holding a large whiskey. But her face was playful. She wasn't really angry. She laughed. Oh, now, get me another whiskey, Trudy, and one for yourself. And so I did. And when I brought the drinks, the kind old lady patted the cushion next to her, ushering me to sit down. I bet you're wondering what my system is. She winked conspiratorially. <laughs> well, sure, I smiled. I figured it best to be honest. Never seen someone do as well as you, especially someone who, well, ma'am, don't mean no offense, but especially someone like you. <laughs> the old lady shouted. No offense, no offense taken by you. You see, I would have been as surprised as you if you had told me a few years ago Back then, I was an archaeologist. For 40 years, I painstakingly researched ancient Greek ruins, tiny fragments of pottery, dagger handles dug up, cataloged, only for all my discoveries to end up locked in the basement of museums. So, at this point, 
point, she pressed a finger to her lips as she revealed the secret. When I made my big discovery, I told no one about it. It's a tablet, or rather a collection of them concerning luck. The Greeks were no fools. They figured out that what we consider blind chance was nothing of the kind. They knew it as something that could be bargained with. If you pleased the fates, promised them something, they'll likely reward you in return. A Greek instruction manual on how to go about it, how you might offer something the fates might want, return it for you winning against incredible odds. I wasn't going to give that to a museum. Instead, I kept it, used it, and I discovered the technique worked. Small things at first, like little tributes to make a meeting go well. Then I just started building up before, well, I decided, let's go for the big one. I looked around the private room, filled with decadence. Man, you can't argue with any of this. Now this is the best bit. I'm still shaking with excitement when I remember it. The old lady then reached into her purse and pulled out a small wooden figure. It was a young woman, maybe one of those little fancy Greek gods. This is the key to it, she whispered. This is the central, this is central to the deal and what brought me so much luck. And I want you to have it. I gasped. I motioned to refuse, but she insisted. I tucked it into my apron. The woman then winked at me and shouted, more booze! The rest of the evening was so amazing. There was a wild body and the old lady drank so much. But best of all, I knew I had the secret to her success on me. Within a few days, no more trying to pick the winners and losers at the dining tables. I'll have you all serving me. Three days later, from the statement of the Las Vegas County Sheriff's Office, I can confirm the death of one Miss Trudy Brown, a server at the Royale Casino. It has been identified that the largest anvil ever made was being transported by air freight across America, fell out of the hold and plummeted towards Las Vegas landing directly on top of the deceased just after she had left her place at work late that evening. We are satisfied that this was an incredibly unfortunate accident, the result of a remarkable series of unlikely incidents. The odds of this happening to her on that day, at that spot, must have been many billions to one. Therefore, we do not suspect anyone of foul play. It was just pure bad luck.